Hello, I'm Elijah Manor, and welcome to Mannerisms, where I comment about web development tips, tricks, and tools. In this video, we're going to look at the Git Lens VS Code extension. If you use VS Code and Git as your version control system in any of your personal or work projects, then I think you're going to like this. The first thing we'll want to do is to install the extension. So we'll open up the extensions pane and type in git lens. It should be the first result. And then we could click install, wait for it to install, and then click reload. At this point, everything's installed and we can start using it. So let's go to our code and see what git lens offers us. We'll open up our index.js file and we'll already see some information that we didn't have before such that Nick Bartlett was the last person to commit on this file three months ago, and that there are four total authors for this file, Ken Wheeler, and three others. If we scroll down, we'll notice some additional metadata for the default class presentation, which was created by Ken Wheeler a year ago, and that there have been two authors, Ken and someone else. If we click on one of the lines, whatever has focus, it'll give a description of the commit when it was created. In this case, Ken Wheeler created this two years ago, and it was the initial commit. If we hover over the description, it'll provide us a little more information. In this case, not too much more, but it was created at 7.12 a.m. However, we scroll down and find another line, such as this one. We'll see that Jonathan Cooper committed this one, and if we hover over that, it'll actually show us a diff of what was changed for this particular line. So the ternary color was from 2FC7F5 to another color. The cool thing is, is we could come up here and click this button to see a diff of the whole commit. And in this case, he actually changed more than one color. He changed two, and he did some other things as well. Another way to interact with the code is to come down to the status bar and click this section. And then comes up lots of different options that you might want to use, like open up the commit in GitHub or copy the commit ID to clipboard, etc. Another neat feature of GitLens can be found in the side explorer. Here at the bottom, there's a GitLens panel that we could open and expand to look further. And here we could examine some of the branches. We could look through the different commits in the various branches. We could look at our remotes. In this case, I have my origin, which is based on my fork. And then there's the upstream, where it originated from. And then I can also look at my stashes. In this case, I have a stash to change the theme to use some weird CSS colors. I can actually open it up and see the difference. So, mmm, mint cream, papaya whip. That sounds tasty. Another neat thing you could do from this view is to come over here and click this symbol to actually see a git log of this particular file, which can be pretty handy. Of course, Git Lens comes with tons of configurable options that you could access in the user settings. So in Mac, you say Command, comma, or in Windows, you could say Control, comma. For example, we could come in here and turn off the Git Lens status bar and enable it to false. That way, when we save it and we come back into one of our files, it will no longer list the status bar information in case you don't want it. And if you go to the main documentation, there are tons more information about different things you could turn on and off, and change the settings to your liking. All in all, this is a really great extension for VS Code. Thanks for watching. Hopefully it was helpful. Feel free to leave a comment or like the video, and subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this. And you can follow me on Twitter, at Elijah Manor. Thank you again, and have a blessed day.